There are no financial disclosures related to this presentation. Is it the lens, the capsule, or in between? This is 60 years old male with no significant systemic disease presenting after 10 years of unintentional phacal ossification with one piece hydrophobic intraocular lens, presenting with diminution of vision, best corrected visual acuity down to 2070, year earlier post 2020. On slit lamp examination, the first impression you will get is this might be an opacified intraocular lens or a posterior capsule opacification. Or when you examine meticulously, you can notice that there is a turbid fluid behind the posterior surface of the intraocular lens in front of the posterior capsule. This is clearly seen here clinically on the slate lamp examination. If you have the chance to see a shine fluke image of this case, you will see clearly the fluid entrapped behind the intraocular lens in front of the posterior capsule. This is a case of capsular back distension syndrome or capsular block syndrome, which is rare, can be intraoperative early postoperative or late postoperative like this case due to lens epithelial cell proliferation and pseudometaplasia. Capsulorexis size and opposition to intraocular lens is a common factor in all such cases. You can see in this case clearly the fluid entrapment behind the posterior IOL surface in front of the posterior capsule. Differential diagnosis includes PCO, IOL epacification, P acne infection. Treatment options include YAG laser capsulotomy, which can be done in the periphery of the center or the center, and this is the most commonly used technique, but it has its own risks. The other option is irrigation aspiration of the turbid fluid, and this is the decision that we went for. The challenge for such approach is opening safely the capsular bag 10 years after the primary surgery without compromising the capsular bag intraocular lens complex. Two paracentheses are made to allow access to the anterior chamber. Viscoelastic is injected to maintain the anterior chamber. You can notice the dim red reflex due to the presence of the turbid fluid. With the use of a sharp edged irrigating cannula, adhesions between the anterior capsule and the lens surface are released to gain access into the capsular bag. Once the capsulorexis edge and the anterior capsule are separated from the intraocular lens surface, you can easily notice the escape of the turbid fluid into the anterior chamber as a smoke steak. Once the turbid fluid escapes from the capsular bag, a good red reflex starts to be regained. Bimanual irrigation aspiration is continued to remove all entrapped epithelial cells within the capsular bag. And notice here the thick proliferated epithelial cells during aspiration.
With regaining the red reflex, aspiration of the residual epithelial cells is done as much as feasible. In conclusion, the capsular bag can be reopened easily after 10 years of the primary surgery. Irrigation aspiration can be a safe alternative to treat late capsular pox syndrome. On post-operative day one, the eye was quiet with a clear capsular bag and vision was regained to best corrected visual acuity of 2020. Thank you for your attention.